What are sex-linked genes? Using hemophilia as an example, how can males inherit a recessive sex-linked trait? Can a female inherit a recessive sex-linked trait? I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we believe that interaction and feedback is what leads to deep, substantial learning. We're so sure of that, that we provide a money-back guarantee that comes with your subscription. What are sex-linked genes? Sex-linked genes are located on the X chromosome. Males, because the genes are located on the X chromosome, can't be heterozygous. They either have the allele or they don't. So the whole heterozygous, homozygous thing doesn't apply to males. But females can be heterozygous, as shown. In this case, it's X big H, X little h, a heterozygote. Or they could be homozygous dominant. That would be X big H, X big H. Or they could be homozygous recessive, X little h, X little h. Using hemophilia as an example, how can males inherit a recessive sex-linked trait. Hemophilia is a blood clotting disorder, and essentially hemophiliacs can't clot their blood. It's much more common in males than it is in females because the allele for hemophilia, the mutated allele that leads to ineffective blood clotting, is on the X chromosome. Sons inherit their X-linked alleles from their mothers. So we'll look at the Punnett square first. This Punnett square is from learn-biology.com. These boxes are things that you would drag the alleles into. Here we have a hemophiliac, X little hy. It's recessive X-linked condition. How did this uh, young man inherit that X-linked allele? From his mom. Mom is a heterozygote, X big H, X little h. She's not a hemophiliac, but she carries the allele. It's commonly known as a carrier. The dad, in this case, is unaffected, X big H, Y, but it doesn't matter because dads don't pass on their X chromosomes to their sons. They pass on their Y chromosomes. That's why they're sons to begin with. So the mom has to be a heterozygote, as shown here, or she could be homozygous recessive, though that's quite rare. We'll look at that in the next slide. Here's a pedigree that shows uh, the same thing, basically a cross between a heterozygous female and a normal male. And note that in this case, the mom passed on her, her normal chromosome, and the dad passed on his normal chromosome. It's the only X chromosome that he has to pass on. In the case of these two sons, the mom passed on her defective X chromosome with the hemophilia allele. So we have two sons who are X little h y. They're both hemophiliacs. This daughter over here is a carrier. She received the normal X chromosome from her dad and an X chromosome with the mutant hemophilia allele from her mom. And here we have a son who inherited the normal X chromosome from the mom. She had one of two to give. He got lucky and the Y chromosome from the dad. So he's a normal young male. Examples of X-linked recessive conditions in humans, hemophilia, which we just talked about. Also a very common one is red, green color blindness in fruit flies which have a similar sex determination system to humans. It's just the X chromosome and the Y chromosome, just like mammals. The allele for white eyes is a mutation that's on the X chromosome in fruit flies. And in fact, this was the first allele that was ever located on a specific chromosome. At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. It's a hard course, but we have a plan for your success. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP Bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Can a female inherit a recessive sex-linked trait? Absolutely, but it's uncommon. Here's what has to happen. The male parent must have the sex-linked recessive trait. So here we have a wide-eyed fruit fly, X little w, y. The female must be a heterozygote in this case, or have the trait, so it could be a wide-eyed female. Here the female is X big w, X little w, and when we create the Punnett square, we can see that among the female offspring, 50% of the offspring 
are carriers. They have to be carriers. They get the normal allele for red eyes in this case from their mom. They get the recessive allele for white eyes from their dad. And in this case, they get the recessive allele from both parents. So 50% are carriers and 50% of the females have the trait. Among the male offspring, 50% of the males are normal. Why? Because the mom's a heterozygote. She passes on her, her normal X chromosome with the red-eyed allele to half of her sons, but there's also the 50% chance that she'll pass on the recessive mutated allele, and that's why this offspring over here will be white-eyed. But the key thing that we were looking for was how can a female wind up inheriting a recessive sex link condition? She can if the dad has the condition and the mom is a heterozygote. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.